Hey, good weekend to you. Welcome to Leading Edge. Good to have you guys along. I'm Jerry Anderson, Solving Crimes Ahead, the detective who does just that for a national network television program. She learned much of her know-how on the streets of Toledo. But up first, an article I saw just a couple of months ago suggested that Toledo Mayor Wade Caps the Cabbage might have nobody challenge him. He might have nobody to run against when he seeks re-election this fall. But oh, how that has changed. My first guest knows more than just a little bit about running Toledo City Hall. Cardi Finkbonner, Democrat, has served in the mayor's office for three terms. Back in the 90s, he worked valiantly to change the city's form of government to a strong mayor form of government. We had been a city manager form of government and then became the first mayor elected under that strong mayor system. Mr. Finkbonner, good to see you. Welcome in. You know I'm going to ask you right off the top. Delighted. I'm going to ask you right off the top why. I mean, you've served your city well, three terms as mayor, more years then in Toledo City Council. Now in your early 80s, you're looking great. Your healthy life is good. Why jump back into the fray? Well, Jerry, I think my sign, which says is right behind me, and you can read it, Cardi loves Toledo. I do. I see area... I see progress in some areas, Central Business District being one. I also see not positive programming taking place to cut back on violent crime in the neighborhoods. And I also see way more blight in East Toledo, North Toledo, and going out toward Walbridge Park in South Toledo than I've ever seen before. We got to get a handle on the blight. And if we do, it will help us cut back on the violent crime. So well, let's, let's those, start. Two, those two are the top two. Those are the top two challenges to our city. All right. You trotted out a 10 point plan just this week uh, to curb violent crime. Um, you had already shared that plan, I believe, with the mayor. To, to, That's to, what, correct. to what effect? The mayor said he liked it. All right. The following day when we met uh, again, um, he said he felt some of his advisors, legal advisors, felt that it was uh, inappropriate for he and I to team up together uh, to put that plan in place. He said, why don't we wait a few weeks and perhaps that would be more appropriate time. And I concluded that the violence was happening so rapidly that I didn't think that waiting a few more weeks was the appropriate thing to do. We needed to get started as quickly as we can. And that meant me introducing the plan to the public and putting appropriate pressure on the mayor, members of city council and our law enforcement team to consider tackling the 10 points that I have have had before me at this moment. Okay, we're not gonna go through all 10 points, but I'm gonna hit on a couple of them that I think are really critical. And we're going to talk about where they came from, because you say we have a Toledo police force, but we also have a sheriff's department over here. Let's face it, the state patrol is out there. We have all sorts of law enforcers, FBI, ATF, Drug Enforcement Administration. And you say it's if when we combine the strength of all of these entities and you're pulling from your own experience, you say you did this in the late 1990s, just before the trip and with great success. We did. We had about seven drive-by shootings at bus stops, Jerry. It was initiation for the Bloods and the Crip gangs back in those days to take a pot shot at people innocently sitting at a, at a bus stop waiting for the bus. Uh, bottom line is I thought we needed a plan to stop that. And we put in plan a place that used all of Ohio, Lucas County, Toledo law enforcement officers joined by the federal officials at ATF and FBI and we got double the number of patrol cars in some neighborhoods and triple in the high crime areas with two officers in each car. We were not reluctant to stop what we thought were very loud, um, boisterous, and possibly alcohol or drug, uh, drug associated uh, in the cars. And we would then search the cars for guns and we would search for drugs. Okay. I had gone to the African-American ministers ahead of time, Jerry, and said, I will see that nobody's constitutional rights are violated. I will ride, councilman will ride, but we will respect the constitution, but we must stop the fact that 
black men and women are killing other black men and women in central locations and our law enforcement officers can stop that in its tracks. We did not have a murder from two days before Labor Day to the day before Thanksgiving in Toledo once we put that in place. I think it was 89 days you said we went without a killing and boy, we would welcome those days back again these days where we are sadly seeing far too often, uh, people losing lives because of shootings in our city. Unnecessarily, unnecessarily. Absolutely so, unnecessarily. You know, when you, you're not, so I'm glad you went to where you went to because when you start talking about when we see people acting out, I thought well, that's sounding dangerously like stop and frisk, which actually worked, but in New York City, and then was ruled, no, you can't do that. You're saying you're going in and you will have legal backup that what you're doing is not violating the constitutional rights of individuals. It has gotten, the, the violent shootings, Jerry, are so brazen, they're really the neighborhoods, you, you can see something that's brewing in a certain neighborhoods in Toledo, and you don't have to violate anybody's constitutional rights to have your officers in position if a gun, uh, or what looks like it's going to be a violent act is about ready to take place. You've got your men and women in position to move quickly. There won't be a shooting. All right. Cardi Finkbeiner, my guest, uh, I'm going to just toss this one at you. We're going to take a break. I'll let you come back and answer because, you know, there are different approaches out there. We hear things like, well, let's find out why people are shooting each other. Uh, let's give our youngsters better, more productive things to do. Let's hire a gun violence czar. None of those in and of themselves are bad, but it sounds like you want to hear it to, to, to use the hammer, lower the hammer. We're going to pick it up right there when we come back. He's Cardi Finkbeiner. Right. He's in the race, folks. Game on. And we're back with more on Leading Edge.